This is my pride and joy, my Sega Genesis with the 32X and Sega CD add-on. This thing is a giant beast of video game machinery. Look at this, it's actually larger than a pineapple. And that's a big pineapple. That's how big this thing is. In fact, it's so powerful that it requires three AC adapters to play all this. And they're large AC adapters. Many of you may have run into the situation where you run out of room on a power strip to plug all of these in. Let's, let's take a look. Because I have right here a cheap, normal power strip. All right, well, let's start with, um, uh, let's see, we'll definitely need to power the Sega Genesis. So we'll try to sort of hang that off the end here. Okay. Right. And then um, there's the, uh, the Sega CD, which we put, um, no? All right, well, hang on, let's try something. We'll, we'll go with the, uh, the Sega 32X power, power, uh, power adapter, which is that going to fit in? No. All right, we can put that there. All right, and then this one can... See, this sucks. Now I can't use my Sega Genesis 32X and Sega CD all at the same time because this power strip won't take all of the AC adapters. What do you do? Don't panic! Would Truxton panic? No. Typically I wouldn't play Truxton in any 32X adapter, but that, that's just there for display. Kind of looks nice though. You may think that all hope is lost, that you'll have to break apart your beloved construction, the Voltron of video game consoles, into smaller pieces just to play them, but that's not the case. Take a deep breath, have a bite to eat, because you can't play this much Sega on an empty stomach, it will overwhelm you. The next thing you're going to want to do is pick up one of these bad boys, the Sega Power Strip, with five AC outlets spaced far enough apart that it will accept all of the AC adapters required to play the Genesis 32X and Sega CD. It's practically shouting at you, Sega. I like that. Let's take a look at how this works. We'll start with the 32X adapter. Plug that in by the S. This is for the Sega CD. Look at that. Look at how much room these have. No claustrophobia here. They got a lot of room to breathe. Here's the Sega Genesis power adapter. Voila! You can now play the Genesis 32X and Sega CD. But wait, there's more. Let's say that you also want to plug in your Sega Genesis Model 3, which uses a different power adapter. You can also plug that in. Look at that, and there's still one more to go. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to plug in the ColecoVision power adapter, which is the largest one I've ever seen. Even that fits. This thing is awesome. Absolutely incredible that this many video game consoles and accessories will plug into one beautiful power strip. And you turn it on with this switch here. The red light by the S lights up, letting you know that Sega is in effect. And if the ColecoVision was actually hooked up, it would also be in effect. In theory, this thing should roar like a lion. All right, maybe not, but the red light means it's working, which means the power strip is working, which means that it's just as awesome as I said it was. Here's the North American style AC outlets. That button calls for help if you're overwhelmed by the amount of Sega power in your house. Four letters, five outlets, very clever. There's the power switch, on and off. If we look on the underside, it's for indoor use only. So for those of you living outside in the wilderness, 
Sorry, you'll have to find something else. If you look in the fine print, it says Sega 1933. Now I'm assuming that's not the year that this was manufactured. They usually have MK-19 numbers or MK-something, but there you go, 1933. Temporary power tap, blah, 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 blah. This amazing piece of equipment was loaned to Classic Game Room by Brian in Renton, Washington. Brian, I think I can speak for all of us when I say thank you. And I'm just holding the pineapple here for a dramatic reveal. I'm not actually going to plug the pineapple in. I don't think that would work anyway. Here we go. All right. It's time to find out what happens if we plug a Super Nintendo into the Sega Power Strip. See that? All right. In theory, this should work. Power's on. Here we go. Damn, my insides feel backwards. They must have programmed some kind of protection thing in there. That was actually kind of fun. Cool. 